All right, Marty is about to try and guess my new car. While he is, come towards my voice, Martin. That's it. Yes, this way, this way. There's, there's my hand, there it is. Come on in. Ah, now, got me. Martin, it's over here. I'm gonna put your hand on it, okay? And th there's nothing else around. And now you can start seeing if you can guess Ooh. what it is Ooh. by uh, feeling it. You can see. Dude, it feels solid. It feels like it's got solid sheet metal. Dude, this is actually really challenging. It's got. Oh, he's checking how many doors it's got. It's got one. It's got one. Dude, it's gotta be Euro, doesn't it? It's got a little wing. Wait. Oh man, for a second I panicked because I thought it was a Civic. Because <laughs> I was feeling. Like, oh my god, it's a wing. No, no, it doesn't have those lights. Come back. There. I, I, you might be able to smell it as well. If I put if I put your hand on the on the handle, you could oh, open it and to... have a smell, Ooh. have a feel of the door. Oh, dude, this has got to be Euro, doesn't it? Wait, what? Wait, what? Do you want to smell it, Martin? I, no, I don't want to. I don't want to smell it yet. This is this is actually really challenging and interesting. That's. Did you buy a French car? Don't come this way. Why? Because... Did you buy a French car? Oh, because I know I'd feel the badge. Wait, would I feel the badge? No. Would I feel the badge? If I no, touched the front badge, there's would the, it be there's, a, there's an exhaust pipe over there that oh. I don't want you to hit. An exhaust pipe? What do you mean? Martin, put your nose in. Actually, you, you, yeah, just put your nose in. I might tell you the kind of... You can sit in, actually sit oh, in there, Martin. It's got um... Sit in there and have a feel. Feel the sportiness. Oh, it feels sporty! Don't put your hand in the middle of the steering wheel. Okay, but I think, I think... Do you want to hear the door clunk? Dude, it's got to be a Vadger or a Euro, that's 100%. The most important bit, he hasn't reached for it yet. That's Vadge. Is it Vadge? Are you seeing if it's auto or manual? It's manual. Yeah, it's manual. But it's either, I, I'm feeling like it's either like a, a Polo or a Renault or a... There's the key if you want to turn it. I turn it on. Bing! Well, that sounds badgy. What the? Is this diesel? <laughs> what is this thing? Is this a diesel? Did you buy something diesel? Uh, I don't know if I should be giving you answers or not, Martin. Have a feel around. Oh, he's felt something over here. See, something something here might give you some little... It's an S15. Oh, Martin. That's what? That's what S15 thing is feeling. They like. are, yes. Is it a Nissan? Is it, is it not Euro? Dude, this is hard. I mean, people are probably going, it's a freaking Renault Clio, but I, do, I don't... I, you can't... Martin, try this. Hop with out no, for a second. No eyes. Hop out, come, come towards me. It's really hard to... Now, I'm, just stand there. I'm going to put you into the back. Okay. Crawl through and see if it feels like a familiar place you've been. Oh, hang on. There you go. Now I'm going to put this back. Let's check the kind of leg room you're going to get. There you go. Jesus. Not an MX-5. It'd be kind of cool if it was. It's a hatchback. It's a hatchback, dude. You did, you've got that, it's a hatchback. A familiar place that I've been and it smells familiar. That's, it's not a Golf or a Polo, I don't think. Unless it's a Polo, it could be a Polo. The, 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 that feels Polo or Euro. But man, you might have to hint me, dude. You'd be surprised how difficult this is. We'll play this game in reverse one day. I think you'll be surprised. Um, do you want like, to be? There could be so many like, Two-door hatchback things that don't rev, which is all I really know well, so far. I'll now let you rub your hands anywhere you want. And on the car as well. Is this a, is this a two-door Volkswagen up? Did you buy a two-door Volkswagen up? Because if you did, I'll be so stoked. Oh, you did it! <laughs> you bought it up, that's sick! Dude, it's a two-door! Yeah, there's only two of them for sale in the country. One it's, of them here and one in Western really Australia. It's really clean, man. This is freaking awesome! Oh, you did well. Yeah, it's so well. I got close with the Polo Euro thing straight away. Oh, straight up. You did there. great, man. You did but, so well. Oh, I'm so stoked. So there it is. Man, you did so well. It's so clean. You picked the Euro in us straight away. Oh, dude, the potential and the stormtrooperness. It's pretty oh, cool, dude. hey? It's really cool. It was owned by Germans that also have a GT3. Underbar. That's so good, man. 
Look at it. Now the reason that the inside was probably a um, the inside was a bit of a trick. Yeah, why did it smell? Is, well, it's owned by a German girl, so I don't know. I thought it might be a familiar smell for you. I don't know. Oh, it's really comfy, isn't it? Um, oh, this is so awesome. inside, Martin. Oh, you, I would look if I'd started playing with door switches. I think I would have Mark felt poor the, feeling. Yeah, yeah the vag. Um, but I did ask if it was the vag. It was the vag? You, you, you did. Um, you get nothing. No Bluetooth. No, like nothing. You get there's air. It's a one liter, nice three cylinder. No controls on the steering wheel or anything like that. It's yeah. just bare bones. Like no vents in the middle or anything. It's just straight up bare bones. I like it. It's really cool. I the like drive's it. great. I was going to take you for a drive, but you were you were too good, Martin. I was going to take you driving around in it, but I think you would have known. That's the antenna. Just so, the remote control control. Um. So yeah, I, I picked it up just just now. Um. Dude, this. It was seven and a half grand. A lot, um, so, isn't it? so they're 15 new, is I think. Is that a lot? Uh, that's how much what they year cost. What year is it? 2013. Oh, yeah. So that's just that's just what they cost. How many Ks? 80,000. Um, Sweet. You did all right. It's actually hard to get any car. For another, so it's on 80,000. It's Ks. hard to get any car for less than seven grand that's kind of newish. Yeah. It's nice and, and under 100,000 Ks, yes. anyways. In Australia, in Sydney at the moment, I guess. But one, it's one of those rare ones that comes with everything, all of its service history. All of the like paperwork receipts of any work that's ever been done with it, spare keys. Sweet. This yeah. is the only way of getting audio in. That's the yeah. only way. You just like plug that in and then plug oh. your other end into an iPhone that doesn't have that anymore. Mm. Um, but there it is. Fantastic. Do you know why I bought it, Mum? Um, I figure it's going to be to try and battle something that I have, but I have no idea what. What else have you got that's one liter? Oh, super turbo, dude. We are doing the ultimate battle. Of GDM up idea. one liter <laughs> versus JDM one liter. That's why. That's the reason that this car exists. And you have a tw 20 year advantage. Twenty years difference yeah. in age. And you've got a turbo and supercharger. I do and have I don't. two power adders, and you got muscle. So I, I think it's actually going to be a really, yeah, really this cool is battle. Sick. So anyway, these things look mad, dude. And you can do a is, lot of man. cool stuff with them. So it's owned by a girl, um, a German girl who's back in Germany. Yeah. Um, and her partner was here in Australia. And so he's had it in the garage. But he said, I'm so bad with accents, but he goes, you know what, with the German engines, you must keep gaskets wet, everything going. So I go down there every week, I drive it for 10 kilometers, then I put it back in the shed. And when I went down there, because I always asked the question, I was just like, are you negotiable on price? No, no, I'm not. It's the nicest one there. And there's no, there's no two doors. There aren't any. So yeah. there's about nine for there's sale and they're all, wrong with uh, they're all $5. There's so, nothing wrong with it, man. Um, if so it's got oil in it, it'll work. <laughs> so there it is. It's um, Well yeah. done. You did good buying. That was really hard. I really want to challenge. Next time I get something, I'm going to challenge you to do that because it's without obviously feeling badges and stuff. Yeah. It's, um, you would have known from that, right? Yeah, from the front. When we were in the front and some badge action, I reckon I would have been able to do it once I'd... <laughs> Yeah, but and yeah, I was going to get you to finger up on the because like finger the letters oh, to see yeah. if you could work out the letter. So in terms of like claim to fame, it's the only car in the world that has a punctuation. a punctuation in its name. So down here, just to give you an idea of the features, down here on the uh, radio, you get volume. <laughs> Media, you can have auxiliary through there, oh, or, cool. right, or CD, that's it, wow. or the radio button, that's it. Um, wow, it's already got a check engine light on. Uh, no, not once you start it, mate, it's all, <laughs> it's all good. Why doesn't uh, it rev free rev? Probably vag things. 80,000 Ks. Awesome, man. Uh, next service is due at 85,000. Fuel tank um, completely empty. Uh, and, um, there it is, Martin. Well done. That, no, well done to you, Martin. Everybody, give Martin a hand. That was you worked it out. You uh, said a yeah. small polo, right? Yeah. No, you said enough. You actually got I it. Up. I got it. Well yeah. done. Anyway, there it is. He's a clever fellow. There that is. This, You'll see this, some more of that this soon. Is it. I love it. It's, it's going to be good. A lot of Five speed manual. Uh, that there, Martin, for its age in 2013, that has autonomous braking. Whoa. So it has a mer it'll slow you down and then it'll actually stop you if you don't have your uh, foot on the brake. It's fun. I was just thinking it's funny that you like golf three, three, four, five, six, seven, RS3. <laughs> and then back to up. That's the correct trajectory. You're literally moving up. Yes. Well yep, I'm All moving right. up in the world. Anyway, there it is, everybody. Thank you for Amazing. watching this little reveal. -y. Uh, you'll be seeing more of that soon. I hope so. Bye. Next time on Mighty Car Mods.
might have noticed, Martin and I eat whatever car we're working on. We do. And we felt like this here was up food. It's totally up food, man. I just want to make sure I don't throw it up. <laughs>